Okay, so calculate R in kilo ohm so that V0 over Vn is equal to minus 200. Basically, um, that's the gain. And so we are asked to find R. Okay, so we can go ahead and, and um, basically review our conditions. So there's no current that would, uh, that would flow through the uh, op-amp legs. And then um, the voltage at the negative leg is equal to the voltage at the positive leg. But over here, the, the difference is given as VI. Okay, so um, as you can tell, there's no ground or anything else you know, popping out for us to calculate VN or VP. It's already given here as the difference, the potential difference between that is equal to VI. Okay, so now we can um, do KCL over here at this node. And then uh, we can um, we can assign a current here. Let's call that I1. And then, of course, there's no current that would flow through here. So the the other current will be the current that will come out will be let's call that I2. And so if we apply KCL, then we have I1 is equal to I2. Okay. Now what's I1? I1 is VI over 1500 okay because the potential difference is is vi here in this case so we have vi over let's call it vn i guess because of this relationship over 1500 is equal to v2 i mean is equal to i2 what's i2 i2 would be the potential difference between um these two which is V0 minus actually it's minus V0 over R okay so now the relationship is given here the gain is V0 over Vn it is minus 200 so if we divide this if we have V0 over Vn is the same thing as having R over 1500 and um, minus and this is equal to minus 200 right b0 over vn and therefore r is equal to 200 times 1500 and this is um, 3 uh, 30, yeah so this is 300k Okay, so this is fairly simple. I didn't realize how simple it was until I started working it. But um, yeah, this process is pretty much the same um, using KCL and identifying your voltage at the uh, legs, basically. And that's pretty much it for this problem.